Bees. The winged insect that's one of the greatest pollinators. What would you do without them? Right now, you're probably thinking something along the lines of, been there, heard that. Bees, as great of a pollinator as they may be, have more importance than you may have previously believed. In fact, the extinction of bees would lead to the extinction of some animals and even humans. Keep listening to find out why bees are actually important. The real reason humans would go extinct is not necessarily because the bees are gone. It would take years for us to go extinct, even after the bees are gone. The main reason is bees are a primary pollinator and they help with most of its productions. Berries, coffee beans, almonds, and apples are just some of the foods they help pollinate and produce. Around 35% of crops are pollinated by bees. This is why we should bring more awareness to what bees do, because without them, we wouldn't survive or be able to have our morning cup of joe as often. Bees do not only pollinate, they create medical supplies with certain benefits. One of these substances includes bee venom, which can treat arthritis and Parkinson's, two issues our society faces today. Royal jelly is another substance produced by bees. It's a natural antioxidant that has been proven to reduce any growth of cancerous tumors. In other words, it can it could help prevent cancer. Other products are produced in the hives, such as prospolis and honey. Prospolis's properties include being an antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. A fun fact about all of the products listed above is that they are only produced by bees. Another benefit is that they bring a large sum of money to the economy. In 2017, honey alone was estimated at bringing in $4.74 billion to the U.S. Alone, the United States sells 157 million pounds of bee-made honey a year. It is estimated that all bee products together cost a grand total of $160 billion. According to NASA.gov, the average per capita honey consumption in the U.S. is 1.3 pounds. The honey, the honey industry is definitely benefiting our, our country's economy in many ways. Did you know that some of the most loved products might not exist without bees? Can you believe that your favorite vanilla scented candle was made with bee products? Neither can I. Candles and some art supplies are made out of bee wax, a wax that's made to you that a wax that's used to make honeycombs. Crayons, lip balms, and canales, a French pastry, are all other products made from beeswax. Beeswax can also be used for furnishing, for polishing furniture, preventing items from rusting, and unsticking stuck zippers. What animals would even go extinct if the bees are extinct? As I mentioned earlier, some animal species could go extinct, but what animals are actually at risk? First off, predators of the bees such as the praying mantis, badgers, and crab spiders would all be at risk of extinction. This chain would continue because predators of those animals would also be at risk due to less food. Although this relationship may apply to other animals, in the bird population alone, there are over 22 known predators of bees. Although the exact number of predators is unknown, Many species would undeniably become a mere memory of this world's ecosystem. You might be wondering, how would we even save the bees? But there are actions that can be taken that are fairly easy. In fact, the following actions could also benefit other causes, such as global warming. Actions like building a garden or planting trees can save the bees. Planting a garden can also be just planting a few flowers in your home, something almost everyone could do. Bees get most of their nectar from trees, and plants can absorb the carbon emissions from factories. Killing two birds with one stone, except the birds that actually benefit from this stone, for the best interest of the ecosystem. If you are wondering about other things to do for Earth, then you're in luck. Bees actually help shelter the world. Bees do not only make hives, but they provide homes for other animals. As you may already know, some animals live in trees and forests. Bees help pollinate locations such as tropical forests and savanna woodlands because bees help pollinate trees. If you still don't believe saving the bees is a worthy cause, do it for the animals and maybe just the avocado toast. In conclusion, we should save the bees for both our sake and the earth. After all, they do produce various crops, medical supplies, and everyday products. Saving the bees would be ev easy if everyone pitched in and did their part. Bees should be taught to be more than a great pollinator, but an, an essential part of all our lives. So let's give thanks to the smallest, busiest workers, the bees.